Hello and welcome to another episode of the Plus 63 HP podcast. I'm one of your hosts, John Clemente. Alongside with me are two of my bestest best friends. At the middle of your screen right now, the guy with the pink headset, Trebox. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Yeah, not the starting week as normal. A little break this week. Uh, I'm good and happy to be here. Can't wait to talk about our show. And our buddy from the West Coast, uh, sleeping at an ungodly hour, waking, waking up again waking. at an ungodly hour, hour to hang out with us. It's Arnie. How are you doing, man? Hello there. I'm awake, I think. <laughs> well, we will be for a little bit. Um, again, if this is your first time on the channel, thank you very much. This is the Plus 6 3 HP stable of podcasts where we have, on Mondays and Tuesdays, reviews of... A uh, very cool TV series or movie that we have seen throughout the week. Uh, on Wednesdays, we drop our D and D show, where our first campaign as middle-aged old men uh, is recorded uh, for posterity and sent out on YouTube and on the podcast. On the podcasts uh, on Thursdays, we have a curated list of trailers, short videos, featurettes, and clips. We react to them and see how hyped we are for a said upcoming project. And on Fridays, Chabox and her other bestest best friend, RJ, uh, can't get enough of D&D, so they spun off a second campaign where they are bad yeah, guys. Baby. So almost every day of the week, uh, you should have new content uh, where you can join us and create this uh, community of like-minded individuals that like good content. With that, we are jumping straight into the main topic of discussion. We are for streaming on Twitch. Oh, yes. And I forgot. We are also streaming on Twitch. So if you're on uh, the East Coast of the United States on Saturday and Sunday morning, we record live. We'd love for you to join us. Hop on the chat. Check out what we're talking about. Uh, if you are in the Philippines, uh, we are in uh, weekend evenings. So around, you know, 10-ish, 11-ish uh, Eastern Standard Time a.m. and uh, p.m. Philippine Standard Time. Join us. Have fun. If you're in the West Coast, minus three East Coast. Um, with that, uh, we have a, a limited series drop for this week's topic. We are discussing bodies that recently dropped on Netflix. It is based off uh, a graphic novel, a Vertigo, DC Vertigo graphic novel by oh, really? I didn't know uh, C. Spencer. So um, it has said good bones. Uh, it's a crime thriller, you know, it's mystery, it's science fiction, it's eight episodes, so it's not super short, you know, episodes tend to be around 15 minutes to an hour, uh, and uh, it's, uh, again, it's starring Jacob Fortune Lloyd, Shira Haas, uh, Amak, Amika Okafor, Kyle Soler, Greta Skashi, Tom Mothersdale, Michael Gibson, Stephen Graham. A lot of uh, familiar BBC people are here. So uh, if you like things that are of a sci-fi nature with a crime thriller twist, twist uh, this might be the thing for you. Before we drop into the synopsis, the beat by beat of almost every particular episode, uh, non-spoilery, if you haven't seen this, uh, Shabax, Arnie, and I will give you kind of like, why should you or what's good with this particular series? So let's start with uh, you, Arnie, so you could wake up. For somebody who hasn't seen Bodies, um, how would you like it? And who do you think the show is for? Uh, I liked it. Um, the show is for people who like crime dramas, crime solving, uh, people who are into the industrial age of British uh, era or steampunk-ish. Yeah, maybe not quite steam steampunk, but that kind of era. Um, Sci-fi people would also appreciate it. And, um, and well, but basically it's, if you like, uh, I would, in my point, the point of view, it's good writing. And something that's unique for the crime uh, procedural drama. Uh, yeah, uh, watch Bodies. So, Box, uh, what you like about the show? It yeah, I, it was, I know, it was pretty cool. Um, not as timey-wimey as I would have wanted it from the trailer. But uh, they went with another, a different way. And uh, I it's, yeah, it didn't... Uh, 
I didn't get what I wanted from the timey wimey, but I got different things. So I still liked it. So that was yeah. my my impression as well. Like uh as veterans of dark in 1894. Yes, yes. It wasn't where as, uh... it hurts <laughs> where the, the timey wimey and the alternate dimension and the alternate reality stuff hurts your brain. And you know, I would need you know, every episode or two, I would have to go to YouTube and check out what are the Easter eggs and what they what it really meant. I was surprised that this was not as mind bendy as I would have thought. Um, you know, the, it's not perfect. Like the the first half was a little too slow and too abstract, even though we know what's happening already. So that's what annoys me with when you know it's already a a, a time traveling thing. Yeah, right. It's like the first episodes you'll. You you you're thinking is this time travel? Is this supernatural? Is this you know you don't know specifically yet, but at some point you you know you figure out as an audience, right? And then you have to ride the characters as they figure it out. So there's a little bit of part of that that kind of was a low point for me, but all in all, everything was just you know a couple of timelines fairly clearly laid out. Yeah. You kind of think about how these different generational uh, detective inspectors have, well, you know, how are they going to work together or how are, if they are going to work together, et cetera, et cetera. And then how things would kind of like unfold towards the end. It's not, again, it's not as complex, but, you know, because it's not as complex, it's easier to absorb, easier to understand their yeah. concept of time. And I, time I do have is... questions later because I kind of got uh, underestimated the time to watch because um, I got sidetracked <laughs> with Spider Man. Spider Man oh, on Netflix as well, yeah. No, no, I, uh, the game, the, uh, oh, the game. PS5. So yeah, so I'm like in the final missions of Spider Man too, and then. Suddenly, it was Friday. I was like, oh, shit. I have five, six episodes to go. So I marathoned them today. And then, so I have questions. So let's. I hope you guys can clarify later. Yeah. Because yeah. I missed a lot. Uh, yeah, so that was, that's kind of like, uh, like even my first impressions of it. It was, it was a, a fun jaunt. Uh, yeah, and eight episodes. Yeah, this was, this is one of those things where it's a good chunk. If you don't want to watch a movie, you want something a little bit more substantial than a movie, but yeah. not a multi-season series, this is great for you. So Is it though not a multi-season? But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, well, I get I yeah. usually we'll limited series, right? Yeah. You know? I mean, the BBC's been good with like they'll they'll tease, but they're not gonna overplay or overstates welcome yeah. that's that's what yeah they don't push it hard so that's yeah. that's kind of good like I, I know towards the end you, you we could have uh another i i don't know again i've, I've never read the, the graphic novel or uh, didn't think about or didn't uh like youtube any of the other stuff but uh let's just go through the series beat by beat um you know arnie do you want to kind of give us like a general synopsis of what had happened and we'll just like jump in. Uh, it's very, this one is very difficult to do like a, a, a episode, full season episode, one because yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's, it is timey-wimey and we don't want to, um, we don't want to uh, uh, rob our audience of the, uh, the joy of the jumping from different generations, but, you know, give us a little uh, synopsis. If you can, well, if not, we'll pass it on. Okay, let's, let's see. Well, time is everything <laughs> oh sorry wrong show um but uh basically um i think the the show starts in 2023 if i'm 2023, not mistaken yeah. first time the so you know basically yeah with hassan uh basically uh you know she's a cop or a detective and the setup was she was called in on her day off to basically keep the peace during this protest and it looks like it's it, it's it, it's set in Brit in london so for mm -hmm. people who are not familiar with uh, british society you know the cops barely have guns it's just that's the one key guns. point <laughs> the one key uh, uh, component there uh, so it's basically uh, if i remember correctly the protests are basically uh, 
I would say it's uh, it's, it's like a it's very j- January sixth. It's yeah, about it's um like keep British, refugees yeah. or keep uh, Britain immigrants. British. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's basically keep Brit, uh, Britain, Brit, uh, Britain, British, uh, or like uh, or like the Brexit people most likely mm-hmm. uh, were protesting, uh, and then she saw a, a Middle Eastern guy being acting shady so she went on that lead chased him and then they ended up in white chapel uh, for those familiar with the jack the ripper murders white chapel is that section of london that is known I didn't know that. for the jack the ripper murders uh where uh so when she caught up with that guy there was a body a naked body on the street and of course, she just assumed that he shot the guy, and oh yeah, the guy was naked, shot in the eye, dead, basically. But of course, the guy said, "Oh, it's not me, it's not me." Ran away, and uh, of course, and then that's when that's the setup. So like basically, she spent most of the first of the early episodes of the uh, of the season chasing after this Middle Eastern guy, uh, thinking that. This guy had something to do with the body that that was found. Meanwhile, uh, the show did does a time jump to I think it's eighteen ninety three or eighteen ninety. Eighteen ninety somewhere. There. Yeah, eighteen ninety. So, uh, where we eighteen ninety when we find this another detective, Detective Inspector D. I. Um, Millinghead who was played by this dude from Andor. So I'm already in. <laughs> uh, so he was also like, you know, routine arrest. And then uh, and then he overhears some commotion happening. He was also, he happens to be in the same area in Whitechapel. He finds this body. But of course, there's a photographer who was taking photos and being harassed by the local cops there. And, you know, he's also basically tasked to uh, to investigate this same body that Hassan found in 2023. And then 1941, uh, also another time jump. Whitehead. Um, uh, Detective Whitehead who is a uh, so who is like a I think he is a Jewish British uh, person um 1941 that was the time during the Blitzkrieg in uh, in World London World War, II. World War II. yeah so for those not familiar uh, Germany at that time whenever the sky is there's a full moon or the sky is clear they do Blitzkrieg attacks on British uh, on London so they, all these buildings blowing up and, you know, so everybody's on edge. But basically, uh, Whitehead finds this body. Well, he actually doesn't find the body. He was led mm-hmm. to the body by by somebody he was talking to on the phone uh, and always keeps telling him, uh, Mr. Whitehead, know that you are loved. And so it's like, that's, keep that phrase in your, uh, in your mindset uh, when you're watching this show. So he was tasked to find the body, put it in, you know, get and basically not really get rid of it, but basically take the body and take it to a certain location. So that's the setup, at least the first three timelines. So we the eras, the, just like Taylor Swift, we have eras that we're looking at. So, so that's basically the first three, four episodes we are. We're just going through the motions of the investigation um, where we notice that each detective, uh, at least the first three detectives, you know, they have a certain protected class. I'll just put it that way, that they're uh, facing because like there's some discrimination going on uh, with Hassan. Of course, she is a uh, Muslim British Muslim uh, detective, woman. Muslim woman also, uh, and you know basically person of color. Uh, so she's not getting the discrimination in her work in workplace, but definitely in the investigation. And of course, she's investigating uh, a Middle Eastern guy 
uh, uh, who she thinks was had something to do with the body. In 1890, um, basically, it was a time where being gay is a crime. So the I didn't I didn't know that I forgot that. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, there was uh, well any time in like earlier society like oh, homosexuality yeah. is considered like not only a sin but also a crime. So just a crime, and like the the reason why they uh, had to apologize to uh, the the guy the code breaker the guy who broke the enigma machine because he was gay, right? Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the one that... frustrated. Yeah, but it, but go back what fifty more years. <laughs> Uh, so it's even worse uh, over there. Uh, just having fic- pictures of homosexuality or whatever—it's indecency. And so I was—I was surprised. Like he, he, started, he just uh, arrested him on the spot. Yeah. So, so that's basically uh, like the, the 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 protected class that we are, or the discrimination that we have there. And then uh, I'm not going to go into the character because it's a lot of spoilers so we have to keep on uh, keep on but basically we're just setting up the, the eras right and then with Whitehead we find out that he is Jewish so there's a former uh, there's a co-worker that's been quite He's anti-Semitic <laughs> anti-Semitic and of course as we all know in World War II a, a lot of Jewish people were uh, basically exterminated uh, uh by the Germans, um, but yeah, so he's also dealing with that kind of discrimination, and the fact that he had to anglicize his name into white man instead of vice man. Yeah. Uh, so he had to basically uh, assimilate and be, uh, you know. But yeah, so that's basically the setup of the story, and then we get introduced with this uh, uh, detective Ma- Iris Maplewood in twenty fifty three. Uh, so in the future that we don't know yet, but in the future, 2023, she finds the same body. So, so that's the you know we all know this in the trailer. There's four 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 time, four timelines, time, same time exact lines, body in four same four, body four timelines, four different DS or DIs investigating yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, and with her, her her protected class is more of disability. Because we find out that she has, uh, she's basically a paraplegic, but she has a device which is so cool. Uh, I love I it. Like, wow. it. Charges in yeah. like ten seconds. Instantly. seconds? No, <laughs> Instantly. I, I, wish I would love for my it. phone to be like that. Exactly, but uh, but yeah, but you could just imagine the technological advancement that something that could power your spine could be charged in ten seconds, <laughs> practically. Uh, but yeah, she but she is dealing with. She's dealing with, um, you know, disabilities. So I, I, I'm not sure if she was hiding it or she's not comfortable with people lo- knowing that she it's is. There, so I, the the overarching, we, we don't have to discuss those. Like the, yeah. the good thing about this series, it has a lot of layers, but the art, overarching kind of issue with her in her timeline is it is kind of like a utopian state, but yeah. if you want help, you need to be part of the the cult slash religion slash state yeah. right so yeah if you um, don't want the government i don't know i didn't see anything i was discussing this with arnie on uh on chat like i didn't really see aside from the obviously the against the people cult. against the the state was there anything bad with the state or there wasn't anything overtly shown right that the worst yeah. wasn't overtly shown, but the brother did say that if you are part of the state, they know everything about you. Yeah. So it, they track everything, right? Yeah. No, there's no. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm again, like I'm, I'm one of those people that I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to hide. So no, it's fine. yeah, I, that's those are the ideologies that have surprisingly changed with me. Like when I was growing up, the we 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 grew up with 1984. You know everything mm-hmm. like demolition man. Freedom, freedom <laughs> comes first and stuff. Yeah, but then growing up now and especially now with people even shoving things in your face in social media, Facebook, mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't. I, I'd rather be safe and <laughs> then 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 well, uh, what was the term like uh, private? You know, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Uh, well, I was talking to the gem guys like. Uh, 
people are, he's like, oh, they might be spying on you. You turn off your speaker. Tito Jeff, why would they be spying you? Everybody, everything people do are, they post on Facebook. <laughs> you don't need to spy. You <laughs> exactly. actually opt in. <laughs> you opt in. <laughs> you have to opt out for that. So it's like. And the thing is, my life is so boring. Whoever's spying at me will be bored to death. <laughs> So like yeah, we're talking like uh, V for Vendetta with Arnie yeah. comparing it's like that one you can see it overtly they were really oppressed even the people that were uh, yeah. under the state they they were really oppressed as well. Yeah, but, like 19, so, yeah, 18, 1984. So yeah, this one. Man, yeah. So this one was like I don't know I just I didn't see enough of the, what was oppressive in the new state. Yeah. Uh, aside from following, so I mean. Kind of oh, makes sense. Yeah, I, mean, it, I, I mean, it kind of makes sense them. that, uh, yeah, if you're not part of the state, then you don't follow. But those that didn't follow just didn't get the benefits. But they weren't, yeah. I didn't see them being oppressed, you know, like, tar- uh, were they hunted? Yeah. Were they targeted? Were they, uh, you know, I mean, it makes sense. If if you don't want to join my company, why would I pay for your back? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, yeah, every person has a different level of comfort on what they are willing to exchange yeah. agreed, their freedom agreed. for. Like I'm happy to exchange a little bit of my freedom for a lot of bit of, of, of and- benefit, but some people like, you know, they, yeah. I mean, if they, if burn they have their, a lot their... more things to take, but so, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. It's like, I, I have nothing to hide. So yeah, sure. No problem. But, you know, I don't have an alternative lifestyle. Yeah. What if I'm prejudiced against certain things that I believe in too? So it can be yeah. weaponized uh, again, yeah, which yeah, is, yeah, again, of course. Yeah. And, and the thing is, this also gives more weight to why the main character, like Iris, would be like, well, why would I destroy this society? I'm uh-huh. a good part of it. But in terms of in, in the pursue, uh, pursuing justice for that body that was like, that she found, like, what is she willing to to do to get that truth, basically, right? Yeah. Yeah. But either way, so four bodies, four gears, four timelines. Um, uh, yeah, continue on. Well, Arnie is busy. Uh, oh, I, I can go. So, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so basically, we'll, we'll tag team all of this. I'll tag Arnie. So basically, Ju, the... the the overall story is that Elias, <laughs> and I remember my text to Arnie, I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, yeah. Elias is a, uh, a kid who was like 15, 16 years old in the 2023, becomes the the president, the main, no, no, like the commander, the, the leader of this new state Yeah. in the 20, what, what year is it? 40? 2053. And okay. in order to create this utopia, I guess, um, it consisted of a big bomb killing hundreds of thousands of people in 2023 that was set mm-hmm. up by Elias. So there's this loop. The loop is that uh, Elias Temporal in 2023, loop. yeah, 2023, um, chooses to detonate the bomb. Detonate the bomb. And then he becomes the leader of that state. And then in 2053, he has to go back in time to 1890 to set up all of these events. So to create this utopia, he has to go back to 1890, uh, set up the, his cult and the bomb and, and the followers. And the, the one thing that, make, made, that makes me even like this more is because he did the fry. <laughs> he he created his own descendant. He, grand, he grandfathered his own descendant. Well, a couple more more generations, generations in between, but it's still basically Fry. He's like you're, he's, he's, the, he's his own grandpa. He's his basically. own grandpa. Great great grandpa. So uh, so yeah, and then that's uh, in in the end, it was up to Hassan uh, and the guy whose body was found. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the foe. Hassan, the foe, and Maplewood to stop to stop Julian from from this cult, and basically they did this by uh, Maplewood, the detective from the twenty fifty three, 
traveling back in time to the 1890 to convince Willinghead oh H- Hillinghead to to talk to uh Julian or Elias before he was killed and to just place that enough doubt because uh, the, oh, the, yeah. the many that layers was perfectly done yeah the many layers here is that uh this wasn't really even though in the end it was all about building this utopia and idealism it was all about a boy who wanted to be loved and he wasn't loved yep. and he was prepped basically right he was he was was it yeah. uh when you he was groomed, groomed. He was groomed. Yeah, groomed. He was groomed. groomed. Groomed to be unloved. So, and then you know, no, him. so he wasn't loved. And then he was groomed saying that he's going to make this great society by killing hundreds of thousands. And basically, it fucked him up. It fucked him up bad. Yeah. And all he wanted was to be loved. And so that's where the sto- uh, so by So by convincing Hillinghead and Hillinghead being, giving a good speech to make him doubt Eli- uh, Elias in the 1890s while Elias throughout the years up to the 1940s was building this cult he kind of started undermining it as well so in the end he yeah. made uh, he made uh, the last because uh, the way he was communicating throughout the years and generations was he made all these recordings to be given to specific people at specific time but then he made mm-hmm. this last recording that undermines everything, telling his o- talking to his own self that yeah. he's gonna die with regret if he continues with this path. So in the end, that's yeah. what happens. Uh, Elias, uh, Hassan, that uh, twenty. Uh, oh, so because of the simple um, speech that Healing had gave to Julian in nineteen eighteen eighteen nineties. Mm-hmm. A seed of doubt that gave him by the 1940s before he died, the uh it changed things that uh he was able to talk to white man because in the original version he just white man just killed him, but here yeah abruptly to... just kills both yeah. Polly yeah. and yeah and this is what I like about the the show like uh, the second to the last episode it shows us how he won practically right? like, they won yeah, like yeah, the yeah. bad guys won right and then in the finale it's like it's still the same pathway but now it's poison i agree by, that, oh, that's well, nice way to yeah. see it and it makes it right better. right so that's what so exactly that's what happened so it, as arnie said the second episode showed all of the endings of uh the the first three detectives um uh, killing head gets uh, sac- uh sacrifices himself and gets killed in uh on the way to jail uh whitehead Kills Julian, but on the in his deathbed, and uh, what happens to him? Oh, he gets hanged, right? Mm-hmm. Gets hanged yeah. because gets hanged. of murdering of, two of people. Murder. Yeah. Murdering two people. Yeah. And then Hassan fails and uh, gets the bomb. Uh, the the bomb detonates right in front of her. She had multiple mistakes. I just have to say she she fucked up many times and couldn't yeah. stop that bomb. So that was the. That was how it suppo- that was how Julian won and the utopia was created. But by uh, Maple would going back in time and just talking to Healing at that one time and Healing had talking to Elias at one time, everything changed. Uh, Healing had still died, but he was able to talk to Elias and start that seed, which uh, bloomed when Julian was able to talk to Wiseman and give him the mast uh, the final. Uh, recording that would convince himself in the 2023 to not detonate the and uh so that that's how it ends and everything rewrites because uh once the bomb did detonate uh after a few seconds uh elias was erased uh just disappeared Boop. disappeared i was that was one of the things that i was noting it's like how are yeah. you go- how are they going to back to the future their shit yeah are they going to so fade they- out no they just like I think it yeah. makes more sense too. Like it just yeah, same. History right. Yeah. So Hassan, the older Hassan, also disappears, and uh, everything goes in a different way. Uh, hopefully, a more hopeful look. But then we get a teaser in the end where Maplewood is back in 2023 alive and driving Hassan. We don't know what that's about. Which so 
Okay, so are are we done? So we can yeah. So, no, so wait, me first. I have a question because okay. one, I I must have missed it. Why did the uh, Maple? How did Maplewood and uh, Elias use? They used the 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 throat thing to go to eighteen ninety, right? Mm -hmm. Why did Defoe split to four? Because when she shot him, is that the one that caused him to split into four or five? Five. <laughs> Well, so the explanation that uh, that's the ti the timey wimey part of it, right? Yeah, so there's like this this particle it. that goes back in time both ways or goes through time. I like, know, so it splits. Yeah. It's so splits, that's right? a good. That was my exact same question because no, technically, yeah. the foe split into five. Mm -hmm. Seemingly, Maple would split into at least two because she was the same age on 2023 as well as. Um, eighteen ninety, right? Mm -hmm. So now we could assume that Elias, old Elias, uh, probably is more than one as well. Yeah, as well as the assassin, because like, so I, we don't see multiples of Elias, and we don't see uh multiples of Asando. That's yeah. also my exact same question. So, so that on, was my yeah. question. So that so that's yeah. I thought I thought it was the gun that made it split. No, I... it, it was the gun that caused him to be a body, mm -hmm. you know, because... Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, all, I know. Yeah, but it, I, it, I, I in, thought, all, in all drops, was, yeah. So I didn't miss it, so there was just... There, so I a think, hole. so my my uh, theory is, um, because it is unpredictable, you don't, you will have a split Yeah. of some sort, right? You will yeah. have a split of some sort. You will have course. variants. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. Um, the my my issue is like if Defoe came four days into the future, will we have um you know Asai. variants of other people in different timelines as well? Yeah, so that was and, kind of like that's yeah. why when Arnie mentioned like all right, there's a there might be a possibility of season two, uh, or... season two because there might be another. There might be another because um... because if, if, if you notice in the final frame of the show, there's still the K Y A L logo in 2023, so somebody still makes the call. It might not be Elias, or could be still be Elias. We, we don't uh, know. Maybe a different Elias. Maybe a different maybe one. Maybe a turned uh, uh, Polly or what? There's yeah. a lot of a lot of yeah, reasons the, why. Yeah, because well. the thing is like uh, the beauty about. So the time travel in this show, it's not tied to the villain. It's not tied to Elias. It's basically a professor randomly invents time travel. And then for some reason, Elias figures out, oh, they, I could use this time travel to do some things. So he uses that. And then... And then, of course, the, you know, they solved it with the time travel. But either way, whether or not the cult was created... Time travel would still be created in 2053, so it so the loop doesn't collapse with the time travel because it's the problem is like for example the loop say, is broken. It's just like a different thing now. Right? Yeah. So so for with example, time travel, like with, yeah. with, so that's with, that's yeah, a with, good you know. Like I, with Back I, to the Future without the DeLorean, no no time travel is is gonna happen, right? So 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 it's it Marty has to fix everything before he could go back, but this one because it's not connected to Manix specifically. So even without Mannix, the time travel would still happen. So yeah. that's a good way to solve it. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, because it is the foe. It's not Mannix. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, those are good. Uh, like that's this is, I think, one of the few shows where not being super closed off or not being super closed helps mm -hmm. the discussion mm -hmm. a little bit because, yeah. like now. I'm happy if it's done like that, right? Yeah. If it's one and done season, I'm good. Yeah. They were very clear about the single loop where um Elias born himself, right? Very clear about that. Hey, it has to happen. Mm -hmm. Um and then they're also very clear on how they broke the loop, yeah. right? It wasn't, you know, it wasn't Elias, uh, it was also Elias himself by planting yeah. that seed of doubt. Yeah. I will I I try not to think about what happened to um, Maplewood? Because in 1890, she was just 
uh, in jail. So was she in jail forever? <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> yeah. so she just like grew old and died in uh, 1890, right? So, or her 1890 version grew old and died there. So, but yeah, I, I try not to just like think about it, but yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. How about let's do our final thoughts and our, our ratings. Let's go with each of us. I'll go with an eight. Pretty good. It's good in our in our scale. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I just have some questions, which is uh, preventing it from going to a nine. I mean, yeah. I, just, I think some some some. I am looking trying not to Google it right now, but some there's one site who also I think said that the shot was the one that created the four, the the mm -hmm. split. But I don't I don't know. I, I have to research more because if. That's the one that There's a book. The, the split. So, so that's why Hassan, Maplewood, and Elias wouldn't have other copies. Yeah, because they just went through it. Right? But there, again, yeah. there's still uh, there's still at least two Maplewoods. Because but there's the other one. Yeah. The 2023 yeah. Maplewood and then the 1890 Maplewood looked exactly the same. Mm -hmm. no, I know. So so we have... Yeah. No, it can be different. Though. She could have traveled from the future again. Again, and it's another. Right. I know, so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm. I'm definitely watch the second one. Um, I love the acting. I love the I the case. I love how. I love the layers. I love how. Uh, they simplified, the, the, utopia, the idealist, the the the, the rain, into a boy who just wants to be loved. Uh, I love the, the twists. The Polly being the woman in the phone thing. Uh, uh, that was amazing. I just I loved how it connected. Um, even the characters. Uh, Hassan was instantly likable. I also liked Maplewood for some reason. Uh, but uh, Healing Head and Whiteside, I didn't like at start. Like. Layer, These guys yeah. are not like likable, but by the end, it's like seeing Whiteside do his thing, like fuck yeah, yeah. and then in the in the, his death was awesome as well. So yeah, um, I I I was even texting Annie uh, Arnie live like like fuck Whiteside kill him killed her the the kid and then oh shit he did she did <laughs> he did like so of so course awesome. not. So I gave it I gave him uh, I give it an eight. Uh, before Arnie, I'll go with, I, I'm, I'm actually going with, I was, you know, back and forth, high seven, low eight. I'm just going to go with an eight because it is fun. That's the good thing about it. And when I think about what Arnie mentioned about all the, all the layers, like every, yeah. every generation, there is kind of like a, an internal personal struggle. Each one of these DSs and DIs were going through yeah. that always makes watching sci-fi timey wimey things extremely grounded and extremely timeless like we're yeah. still dealing with like hey, whatever generation it might be there's something that you know there's a war happening in 1941 and you're you are fucking bothering your co-worker because he's a jew right yeah so it's <laughs> it's one of those things where no matter how wild it is outside you can still find something to hate with, with your with with yeah. another person and that's it also one. gives and like, conversely too also explains a little why white side wasn't clean because they're treating oh, yeah, him like shit man, yeah. right yeah. oh white man right? and treating him like same yeah, thing and with it's very, very on the nose too yeah i'm a white man <laughs> But yeah, and really. uh same with yeah. same thing with 20, 20 2053 a seemingly perfect utopia but on the other hand, there are still people that are struggling, fighting against freedoms or whatever. So, like on both ends, you can see, uh, you know, different different types of quote unquote discriminations. Like, right, you know, eighteen ninety is homosexuality, nineteen ninety it's uh, race and religion. Uh, it's it's religion, and in twenty twenty three, it's race or gender. It's like. All right, it's a little too on the nose, but they weren't never heavy handed in terms yeah. of all of this. It's not levels. in your face. I mean, yeah. the, old, the the most in your face was white man because with a coworker, and then of course the uh, how they framed Milling Head with uh, indecency. Indecency, like the, the simple photo. But yeah, ultimately, what I what I really took away from the series is, like, all throughout the series, 
they found a really good main, which is I think Hassan is kind of the main of. There's a lot of mains, but Hassan is like yeah. the main of main, and the the ultimate through line from episode one to episode eight is never give up on the bad guy. Like you know, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, never always find the good in a person because like even like I was looking at it, it's like I finished it last night and I was thinking about it like. You sh- if she never drove Elias, young Elias, to the, to the mom, mom and given the mom an opportunity to reject him, she's like, go straight to jail. Yeah. None of this would have happened. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's one. That's one. Right. But, no, well, you know, no, no, we'll never know. He he always has an access to a phone. That's yeah, true. That's, you know, that's but true. I'm he assuming, like, it. you know, you'll get stripped and they'll find a piece of paper, et cetera, no, et cetera. But, but you're right. The idea of it, that's... it now by then. Yeah, but yeah, also the, the, the hundred percent. But also the point was, um, um, you're only curing the symptom. You're not curing the actual root cause of the problem. Her yeah. having Elias heal himself is the real goal of it. Like he needs to be convinced. No, to yeah. Stop. yeah, that's a good thought. Also, because that's one of the things that kind of pissed me off how she handled the Elias. There's so many things they could have killed him. This is Many not, times. especially her knowing that there's gonna be a bomb that's gonna kill her son, and yeah, and she's still being it's, easy on him. But then it's the now that, yeah. you're, now that you're saying it, like uh, she basically got the uh, the will you kill baby Hitler conundrum. Yeah, basically, and then right? also and yeah. her like her bringing her him to the mom was messed up, right? Yeah. You know, alone leaving her on leaving him in the car alone. Letting yeah. him get to a phone. But then again, if she didn't do this, she wouldn't have the chance to succeed on the next one. You know what I mean? If she, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. To heal him completely. Like it it yeah. needs to be this you have to fail first. Right, like, to get yeah. you, to you can't you can't stop what he wants to do. He needs yeah. to stop what he needs to do. Because like at some point yeah. he would have just made it himself anyway, right? He could yeah. have gotten out, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I knew that was the main reason at the end, but I was like, I was, I was never a big fan of it until it was like over and over and over and over saying like, nope, one good thing, one good thing, one good, one good thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, all right. As so a white man, yeah, this one. That's good in thing. the end, like that's all that the, the it's right in front of our faces, like all the entire time. Everybody just needs to know that they are loved. And then yeah. this would have been okay, right? And so that's the reason make, why I enjoyed it. Which makes the their is it a slogan? Their know that you're allowed go from bad yeah. to even a good, good. thing. Good. Yeah, right. It's yeah. really what he needed to be. Yeah. So I'm giving yeah. it an eight as well, Arnie. I'll give it an eight too because, like, like uh, Chabak said, like the fry uh, thing, and also he basically did the Biff Tannen, went back in time, used his knowledge of the stock market to get rich. <laughs> it's like. Dude, that's how exactly what I'll do it. Uh, and, and the thing and is, like a, that actor, I like was telling Arnie, also is a charming motherfucker. Yeah. Joe, he's, he's very yeah. The yeah, only it, so, so yeah. minor complaint though, because I know that they probably hired old Elias first before they hired young Elias. Those yeah. fucking contact lenses, they need to. Yeah, <laughs> come on, you do better. Yeah. That was very distracting for young Elias's blue eyes. But sorry, yeah, yeah. continue. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like. Because initially I thought, because remember they said, oh, you know, Julian Harker, like she lost her son in the war and then he was found and then she repainted everything. So I was like, oh, did she really take advantage of this old lady? And no, she's complicit. Like, I know you're not my son, but okay. Just wants to, to be loved. Yeah, so she was so lonely that she was just, okay, you'll be my son. You'll give me a family. And whatever it is you're planning to do, oh, let's do it. I was like, wow, okay, we're in there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I mean, just the fact that he just, like, the long game, right? Like, I'll go, we'll buy this particular bank because this is the spot where I want to put this bomb. And they didn't even like, try to explain how he got a nuclear bomb before it was invented. But, hey, he had the knowledge, right? He had the knowledge. Or Boris. They were able to... Since you have the plans and the design, yeah, I think yeah, no, uh, yeah. unlimited yeah. amount of money. <laughs> yeah, maybe in twenty fifty three, uh, quantum mechanics and making bombs are just part of elementary school. I don't know. So, but yeah, again, it's or Boris. Like, if you have the knowledge, 
you just have to reverse engineer it, oh, and, right? So and uh, uh, they didn't need to make it by 1950. They could have done it 60s, they, 70s, yeah, they, they, 80s. They, yeah. right? No, no, because the bomb, ex yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right? They, that's they had true. the bank. Yeah. The bank was there, so they the bank was already it. there. But the, the yeah, they could have made it throughout after yeah, yeah. throughout the 50s, 60s. Yeah, that's that makes more sense. It, it could have been uh, post Julian. Yeah, okay, post. that makes sense now. But see all these layers. That like, okay, when did they make the bomb, or wh why is that bank so important? Because it's in the middle of London, <laughs> and yeah, and, that's why wow, he wanted just, it. He he, he yeah. placed it. Directly. And like, oh, yeah, money's no object. It's overpriced. Sure, sure. Let's buy it. Like, it's like, but yeah, he did the Biff Tannen. And I and I always like that part of the Back to the Future as well. Like you're, you know, using future knowledge to monetary gain. Because that's basically what people are fantasizing about, about time travel. That's why it's so dangerous. <laughs> you know, but but yeah, it's 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 uh it is is it one of those series that I would watch without knowing it from from our thing? You know, I would have probably not seen it, but because we it's our homework, yeah, we, we I gave it an eight out of ten, and I enjoyed it. It was it started slow, but it was intense though. Once it started picking up, it was intense. So I, I'm I'm glad that it was like a yeah, that it was a pleasant surprise to 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 have to find this series basically. Mm -hmm. All right, well. I hope you guys enjoyed us discussing bodies on Netflix. Give it a try. Let us know in the comments whether you liked it as well or you have other thoughts on what had happened with the duplicates of, of all of the different characters. But once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're at youtube.com slash plus HP. We'd love it for you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends and family. We're also in every single podcasting app that you can think of. Just search plus six three HP. And if you want to continue interacting with us, we're on all the socials. Just search for the handle at plus six three HP. We are on Facebook, Instagram, X. Uh, we'd love to continue working with you guys and, or talking with you guys. And Before that, we leave, uh, uh, next week, what do you want to set up? Uh, Gen V ooh, and Loki. How many episodes is Gen V? Oh, no, we have Loki next week. Yeah, we, we have Loki next week. So just one, just one. Let's do Loki next yeah, week. Because okay. it's also like a, a full season of Loki. So okay, okay. again, okay, time travel. A little bit longer. Okay. Time I, travel I, I also that's one another reason I got delayed with bodies. I was rewatching the first season of Loki before. Oh. Just because I I forgot a lot of stuff. So I haven't seen the latest episode that's scheduled for tonight. So I'm very excited. I heard some things about it. Okay. Um, with that, okay, we'll be discussing. Loki season two next week. Maybe watch it as well. Discuss it with us. Hop on Twitch, um, on twitch.tv slash plus six three HP as well if you want to discuss it with us live in behalf of Trubox and our other best friend uh, down there, Arnie. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. No, you are loved. Yeah, baby.